While SmartDraw makes building an org chart a pretty effortless task, it's still good to keep a few tips in mind for optimum results. SmartDraw automatically formats your org chart in a neat and orderly way. Spacing is always nice and consistent, and color themes make it easy to keep the design looking professional. You can adjust spacing and change colors without things getting out of whack. If you do need to, say, make a certain shape a different color from the rest to make it stand out, choose from one of the styles that already matches that theme. That way the shape can stand out without clashing with the design of the chart. Too many inconsistent shapes and colors are a distraction and muddy the chart's clarity. In some cases, you may want to group people with the same title and who share the same manager into one box. This can save a considerable amount of space. Charts look much better if all the boxes are the same size or at least the same width. There will be cases in which names and titles are longer than others and take up more space, leading to a taller box. This will look fine as long as the width is the same. If you have boxes that don't match up, just select as many as you want while holding down the Shift key and select the box you want to emulate last. This will be marked by the full black squares. Then, under Design, choose Make Same Height, Width, or Both. Assistance should be shown with a box that comes off the line that connects the manager to his or her subordinates. This distinguishes the role of the assistant from other people that report to the manager. The job title should be shown above the name of the person occupying it, because positions define the organizational structure, not the people who currently occupy them. You can change people's position without changing the structural arrangement of the chart. Particularly in smaller companies, one person may manage multiple parts of the organization. In this example, the CEO, Paul Smith, also acts as the VP of Engineering. Both the management team and the programmers report to him. The best way to show this is to include both positions in the chart and to show Paul is occupying both of them. Sometimes it can be helpful to show relationships with a dotted line connecting the boxes of two positions. One common example is an assistant that works for three managers. Try not to go overboard with this method as it could get messy if overdone. SmartDraw lets you build an org chart automatically from a spreadsheet. This is accomplished by importing a data file that lists the title of each position, the name of the person assigned to it, and the title of their manager in each row. The file can be a local CSV or XLSX file, or you can pull the data from Azure Active Directory. If you want to add more information to your org chart without crowding it with too much text, try using hyperlinks. You can hyperlink to email addresses, job descriptions, or even records in the employee database. Your org chart can become a visual interface to more detailed information. An org chart showing every employee of a very large company is way too big and complex to be useful. A more manageable approach is to break the organization up into smaller groups, each with a reasonably sized org chart, and then link them together. When you create a subchart in SmartDraw, a new chart is started for you on a separate page. You can use these hyperlinks to jump back to the parent chart. You can also rename each page and easily navigate your subcharts by browsing the page tabs. No matter the size of your organization, you can quickly chart it out and keep it easy to read.